Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve part 3 from question number 2, exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the example problems, exercises 3.1, 3.2 and 3.4. Question 1 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 2. Part 3 from exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables says, formulate the following problems as a pair of equations and hence find their solutions. So the question is, Ruhi travels 300 kilometers to her home, partly by train and partly by bus. She takes 4 hours if she travels 60 kilometers by train and the remaining by bus. If she travels 100 kilometers by train and remaining by bus, she takes 10 minutes longer. Find the speed of the train and bus separate. Again, this question is based on speed, time and distance where we have a Ruhi who travels 300 kilometers to her home partly by train and partly by bus who is at point A and she travels to point B that is her home and the distance from her to her home is 300 kilometers. So she covers this distance partly by bus and partly by train. So she first takes train to cover some kilometer and then she again takes a bus to cover the remaining distance okay and they have given us two conditions that is if she travels 60 kilometers by train and remaining by bus she takes only four hours that is the first case and the second case given is if she travels 100 kilometers by train and remaining by bus she takes 10 minutes longer that is 4 hours plus 10 minutes she is going to take totally so we have to find out the speed of train and the speed of bus separately so since here we have to find out the speed of train and the speed of bus so let us assume these two values so let us assume the speed of train to be x kilometers per hour and the speed of bus to be y kilometers per hour so write down let the speed of train be x kilometers per hour and let the speed of bus be y kilometers per hour. Now let us take condition or case 1 given. So in case 1, Ruhi covers 300 kilometers where she takes 4 hours till time given is 4 hours to complete the whole journey if she travels 60 kilometers by train. Let us take this as point C from A to C to 60 kilometers she travels by train and the rest of the journey she travels by bus. How many kilometers she will travel by bus? So it is 300 minus 60. So 300 minus 60 is 240 kilometers she covers by bus. Right? So let us take separately time taken to cover 60 kilometers by train and time taken to travel 240 kilometers by bus and you also know the relationship between the time distance and speed which is given by time is equal to distance by speed so here we will calculate the time taken by the train and bus to cover 60 kilometers and 240 kilometers respectively and we will equate that to the total time given that is 4 hours so let us first write down time taken to travel 60 kilometers by train so time is given by distance by speed so what is the distance covered by train it is 60 kilometers and what is the speed of the train which we had assumed it is x kilometers per hour so this is the time similarly let us write down the time taken by bus to cover 240 kilometers time taken to travel 240 kilometers by bus so that is equal to what is the distance again it is 240 kilometers and what is the speed of the bus it is y kilometers per hour so according to the question given she will take totally four hours if she travels 60 kilometers by train and remaining by the bus so according to the question we will form the equation here so time taken to travel by train is 60 by x plus Time taken by to travel by bus is 240 by y and the total time taken will be 4 hours, right? So, this forms the equation number 1 according to the case 1 given. Now, we will take 
case two. In case two, they have given us if she travels hundred kilometers by train and remaining by bus. Okay, so the, again in case one, when she travels from point A to point B, that uh, total distance is three hundred kilometers. So she travels hundred kilometers by train. Okay. she reaches a point c now the remaining kilometers will be how much 300 minus 100 so 300 minus 100 will be 200 kilometers so 200 kilometers she will travel by bus to reach her destination right so now let us calculate the total time the total time is given as 10 minutes longer she will take compared to the previous time that the previous time here is 4 hours so she will take 4 hours and 10 minutes all together so since we are taking the speed in kilometers per hour we have to convert this minutes also in hours so she will take 4 hours 10 minutes so that will be 4 hours plus 10 minutes so how do we convert this minutes to hour we have to divide by 60 okay so we canceling 0 and 0 we get 1 by 6 now let us take lcm so if you take lcm 6 is the lcm 6 into 4 is 24 Plus one, that is twenty-five by six hours. This is how we convert minutes to hours. Okay, so this is the total time taken in second case. First, let us write down the time taken to travel by train to cover hundred kilometers. So, time taken to travel hundred kilometers by train. Time is equal to distance by speed. So, distance covered is hundred kilometers, and speed of the train is x. Similarly, let us write down time taken by bus to cover two hundred kilometers. Time taken to travel two hundred kilometers by bus, right? So time is equal to distance by speed. Distance is two hundred kilometers, and the speed of the train is given by y kilometers per hour. According to the question, she covers two forty kilom hundred kilometers by train and remaining by bus. That is two hundred kilometers. So time taken to travel by train is hundred kilometers by x plus time taken to travel by bus is two hundred by y and total time taken is twenty five by six hours. So this forms the equation number two. Okay. So we have got two equations here. Now we have to solve them and find out the value of x and y. That is. the speed of train and speed of bus so here you can see that equation 1 and 2 r can be reduced to a linear pair of equations which is given by ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where the variables x and y has to be in the numerator so here again we have to send make sure that the variables come in the numerator in equation 1 and 2 so let us substitute Let one by x, which is common in both the equation, be equal to some other variable like p, and similarly one by y, which is also common in both the equations, can be equated to some other variable like q. So substituting this in equation one and two, we get equation one can be written as sixty into one by x plus two forty into one by y equal to. Four. Now substituting one by x and one by y value, we get sixty into one by x as p plus two forty into one by y as q equal to four. So let us take this as equation number. Similarly, from equation two can be written as hundred into one by x plus two hundred into one by y equal to. Twenty-five divided by six. So substituting one by x and one by y value, we get hundred p plus two hundred q equal to twenty-five divided by six. Right. So let us send this six to left hand side so that the simplification becomes much easier. So sending this six to left hand side, it comes in the multiplication form. So we get six into hundred p plus Two hundred q equal to twenty five. So six into hundred will be six hundred p plus six into two hundred is twelve hundred q equal to twenty five. So let this be equation number four. So here you can observe that equation three and four are in general form of a linear equation. 
where the variables p and q are in the numerator right now we can solve them by applying elimination method and find out p and q values so now write down applying elimination method to equations 3 and 4. So to apply elimination method we should make sure the variable we want to eliminate should have same coefficient with plus and minus sign. Here if you observe we have 60p and 600p. So now if you multiply equation 3 in by 10 then we get 600 right. So let us multiply equation 3 into 10 so we get 10 into 60 will be 600p plus 10 into 240 will be 2400q equal to 4 into 10 is again 40. So this we got from equation 3. Now equation 4 will be as it is that is 600p plus 1200q equal to 25 so the coefficients of p has become equal that is equal to 600 but we have to change the sign so we can change the sign of any one of the equation so let us change the sign of second equation so plus 600 p will become minus 600 p plus 1200 will become minus 1200 and again here plus 25 will become minus 25 so directly we can eliminate plus 600 p and minus 600 p so here we have 2400 minus 1200 we have to subtract with a greater number sign so subtracting zeros and zeros will come here 4 minus 2 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1 q equal to again here we have plus 40 and minus 25 so let us subtract with a greater number sign will be plus 15 since 40 is a greater number so therefore we can write q is equal to 15 divided by 1000 200 so cancelling 3 5 times 15 3 4s are 12 0 0 again 5 1 times 5 8 is are 40 0 so therefore we got q value as equal to 1 by 80 right now let us substitute this q value in equation 3 so equation 3 is given by 60p plus 240q equal to 4 so substitute q equal to 180 in equation 3 so 60p plus 240 into q is 1 by 80 equal to 4 so cancelling here 0 and 0 and 2 4 times 2 1 times 2 2 times again 4 1 times 4 3 times so here we got 3 so sending this 3 to right hand side we get 60p equal to 4 minus 3 or 60p is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1 or we can write p as equal to 1 by 60. So initially we had also assumed the q and p value as p as equal to 1 by x and q as equal to 1 by y. So let us equate these two values taken q as equal to 1 by y and here we got q as equal to 1 by 80. So equating both the right hand sides we get 1 by y is equal to 1 by 80. So cross multiplying y into 1 is y equal to 80 into 1 is 80. So we got y as equal to 80. Similarly let us equate p as equal to 1 by x which we had assumed initially and p as equal to 1 by 60 which we obtain the value here. So equating both the right hand sides again. So 1 by x is equal to 1 by 60 cross multiplying x into 1 is x equal to 60 into 1 is 60. So we got x and y value. So these are what? These are the speed of the train and speed of the bus in kilometers per hour. So therefore we can write speed of train is 80 kilometers per hour and speed of bus is 60 kilometers per hour. So this problem is very much important. All the three parts of question number two are very much important from examination point of view. So these are quite lengthy but easy problems if you practice. 
If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. So with this, we complete chapter three pair of linear equations and two variables. In the next video, I'll be starting with the new chapter. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. As I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class tenth SLC and cert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter three pair of linear equations shown on the screen. Thank you.